Hey there, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently working on wedding prep and that is going to be the majority of this vlog. I am DIYing basically everything and a lot of the stuff is from previous weddings that I have worked. Also, I say wedding prep. This is for our engagement party because we are not having a traditional wedding. We are getting married in Iceland, so this is like our main event really for everyone who can't go out to Iceland. The party is like a week away. I have a lot to do. Um, vendors and everything is taken care of. I just need to decorate now and that's all on me. So uh, we're gonna be DIYing a lot like I said and I apologize. Videos are kind of sporadic right now. It will get back to its schedule after this party. So after that it'll go back to normal and I'm excited to start up making the holiday content videos. So now I'm going to paint some old signs from weddings. They were like seating charts or welcome signs, things like that. Last night I stripped off a lot of the stickers and then I'm pretty much gonna paint over them all. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. So like I just mentioned, I am going over these old signs from previous weddings that I worked. Most of them were either welcome signs or like this one for Polaroids that I'm taping over. But you don't need to have worked weddings in order to do this DIY. When I was going to thrift shops checking for vases, they had a lot of wedding signs used from previous events in their frame section and their art section. So that is a great option to get used and just tape the edges or paint over the frame if you don't like the color of that either. And you'll see later on in the video, I am doing the lettering with my Cricut, but you could also do hand lettering with stencils or just freehand if you're more comfortable with that or you don't have a Cricut. One thing that I will note about the vases is I started off with doing the baking soda technique where you mix baking soda into your paint, but it was getting a bit clumpy and peeling off the vases some, so I ended up just using the wall paint directly onto these. This is leftover wall paint that I have from a DIY project that I was doing before, and it just happens to be in the colors that our wedding party is in. been painting these vases from random thrift shops and I kind of laid them all out just to see if I had enough yet for all the tables because these are going to be the centerpieces. But this is like kind of what I'm working with for the centerpiece. I have these little placemats that were on sale at Target so I just bought them. All these vases are going to have like dried florals but I just have some in the house that I wanted to play around with. So I basically wanted it to be kind of eclectic. I also have like a lot of <laughs> pink salt that I might add a couple to each one. So this is how it's looking. I have all 10 that I need of this color. I'm gonna paint these three here to get 10 of that and then those ones to get 10 of that color. And then I have some extra of these cause they're just, they can go throughout the event. And this row here, I'm going to keep the clear glass. I'm not gonna paint those ones. You can see the color it used to be. This is an old wedding arch from an event I did and I'm just spray painting it gold so that it matches my colors. 
And you will see I am also going to tie a little balloon garland to this arch. Now I am just going in and doing the rest of the signs. I have a lot of signs that I need to paint. I was very fortunate that I didn't have to buy any of these again, so it saved me a lot of money in the long run. And you'll see that most of the designs that I'm putting on these signs are just from Pinterest. This is a personal event for myself. I'm not getting paid for it, obviously. So I am just using designs directly from Pinterest instead of coming up with my own. So Pinterest is definitely a great tool if you're looking to keep a consistent theme in your event. I will also be linking the three colors of paint that I used in the description box down below. I used these three colors for all of the painting that I did, including the vases, the signs here, and the photo backdrop. Alrighty, here are all the designs painted. Now I'm gonna go in with my Cricut and start putting lettering on all of these. This was definitely a long process of going back and forth, putting all the lettering on the signs. Big shout out to my fiance for helping me throughout this whole process. It would have gone much, much slower had he not helped me. And here's what it looked like when most of them were done. Definitely getting there. 
We were also doing our own charcuterie board for this event, so I wanted to test run the layout beforehand so it would go smoothly. Now is when I started to paint the photo backdrops. We made two of these backdrops, one for a DIY photo booth that we were also doing ourselves, and the second one was going to go in the back of the event for more of the group photo shots and also where speeches would be. If you are actually interested in making a backdrop like this yourself or interested in the plans that we came up with to make it, I could definitely do a video on that. And let me know in the comments down below if you want a more in-depth video talking about how we pulled off DIY charcuterie board, DIY photo booth, and kept this event to minimal vendors. For painting the curves, I kept switching back and forth between freehanding and using the string technique where you tape a piece of string at a certain point and you just use the tension to make a curved line. Just with the sponge that I was using, it having different sides, the string technique didn't 100% work so that is why I kept switching back and forth between the two. Going in and arranging the dried floral while watching Half Moon Joe, of course. The night before the event, we actually had a little arranging party with my bridesmaids, so they were able to help and make the bouquets to go in these vases, but I just wanted to evenly spread out all of the floral beforehand. I didn't trim the heights of any of the flowers though. So that night was adding in the live flowers and then properly trimming everything to the correct height. And lastly was setting up the party. I obviously don't have a ton of footage of this because I was super busy, but here is us adding some balloons. We also set up the tables and chairs and basically everything you see. So huge thank you to my family for helping us so much this process. It was such a fun night and everything turned out so cute. Again, if you want a more in-depth video talking about the logistics of the party, I would love to make that. And now I hope you enjoy the final shot of what it looked like all set up. And my wonderful photographer, will be linked in the description below as well. <music> 